This is lesson one of Google Maps Engine Lite. In this lesson, we're going to go through the different features that will be covered in the following lessons. So we'll take a look at multi-layers, add-in images and videos, the map tools, for example, and important external data. Okay, so what you see on the screen is an example of a map that's already been created. So you can see here that I've created several different points on the map in different cities in Europe. There are different layers to this map. We've got one layer that is for 2007, one layer for 2009, and we've also got some driving directions here from maybe another layer. And at the bottom here, an untitled layer. You can add multiple layers to a Google map on Google Maps Engine Lite. Okay, so let's look at some of the other things that you can do. If you have a Mac, you can use the trackpad to scroll in and scroll out of the map that you are looking at. Or you can use the plus and the minus buttons at the bottom here, which make it a little bit easier to control. We can look at each of the individual points on our map by just double clicking. And there we can see that this is Munich in Germany. We can go over to another one, double click, and that is Budapest. In addition, we can click on the lines between there, which we can add to the map, double click on this, and it will tell us that this is Budapest to Munich, and I've got a description in there, and it also will tell us the distance traveled. We can edit this and trash it at any time. If we click on this red line here, I've also uploaded a photograph. You can edit this and trash it as well. And to close it, you just click on the little X in the corner. This blue section here is refers to these directions here. This is another trip that I've added. And you can actually move this if you wanted to. You can actually click on here and you can see the little white dot on here and you can drag that and create an alternative route. So I can go to any point on that map, double click on it, and then drag that and create an alternative route on my map. There are various map tools at the top here. You have undo and redo. The select item, if you click that, that means you can move the map either side. This item here is add in a marker. You have the draw line feature. You also have an add directions and you can measure distances between different locations and you can also measure the area. You've got the search option here so we can search for Singapore and then that will take us straight to Singapore. Let's go back to Munich. And we can see there our destination that we put in earlier. Finally, we can now look at this final layer here, this untitled layer, and it has this import button. We're going to look at this in one of the further lessons later on. But this will allow you to import a CSV file or a spreadsheet that's complete with data and import that into your map. In addition, we can change the base map. So at the moment, we're on this one. We can change it to a satellite view, terrain, simple atlas, mono city, light political, light landmass, dark landmass, and white water. This concludes the introduction to Google Maps Engine Lite. In further lessons, I will show you how to create maps and add different points to a map, as well as using the tool in the classroom.